I mean, it was a totally incredible experience uh, going from a very traditional form of uh, learning and teaching that uh, was a lecture method. And I, of course, my undergraduate degree was in mathematics. So there were a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of content that you had to just know. But there was very little discussion in class. You know, we, we were at St. Xavier's College was an outstanding institution, but you know, you sat on benches, the faculty stood on a platform and, and uh, lectured to a model where you're in an amphitheater like setting the faculties in the in the you know on the ground and you know tiers of uh, uh, students sitting uh, above and engaging in a lot of very good discussion so huge number of changes you were not you didn't have to prepare before you went to any of your classes uh, before in my undergraduate work here you have to be very well prepared idea of a cold call that somebody could call on you to open a discussion and you had to be prepared idea of responsibility that you were not only uh, irresponsible for your own learning, but responsible for the learning of your uh, fellow classmates, uh, another very. So, and just the energy and the excitement and the depth at which you would have these conversations. Of course, for me, it was also the first time I was staying outside the home. It's un not uncommon uh, uh, for us to go to undergraduate school in the city where your parents lived and stay at home. Uh, so that was, of course, another fantastic and uh, a fun experience. I would say that many, many amazing courses uh, uh, that we took uh, uh, and with some amazing faculty members. So I obviously will uh, miss some, but uh, certainly having Professor Bhattacharya, uh, you know, teach us uh, management and accounting and control and uh, um, uh, Professor Balakrishnan, uh, Professor Malia, Professor Kalro, uh, Professor Mote, Professor Saha, uh, uh, you know, Professor Vora, and so some of us uh, had the pleasure of having, I didn't, couldn't, couldn't, uh, didn't have uh, Professor Bandari, but Labdi Bandari was there at the time, uh, Professor Pulin Kerr, Khan, Professor Khandwal, I mean, I can go on and on. They're just a, a, a phenomenal list of spectacular faculty, Professor Nitin Patel, who I'm still in touch with here, phenomenal uh, galaxy of stars in terms of the faculty, brilliant in their understanding, uh, masters of pedagogy in terms of what it was that uh, they delivered. I mean, the level of teaching was, I, I have to say, even compared to teaching I have seen since then, a few you know places like Harvard, where we obviously do a Fantastic job, Stanford too. But generally, the level of teaching on par with these kinds of institutions. So, uh, incredible amount of thing. Uh, lots of very good learning. Uh, I remember Professor Marty Subramaniam had just come back. So, the finance course that we took was at the level of the most advanced understanding of uh, finance that we ha was going, going on here. They were up to date on the research that was happening. Uh, Professor Mampili and thinking about uh, how we uh, think about working capital management and different ways in which he was doing it. So I would say from an educational experience point of view and preparing us for our careers, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. It was just fantastic. And then you combine that with some truly spectacular students who were there uh, with us at the time, uh, just made for a unbelievably memorable uh, educational experience. I many years now from now that I still remember so vividly so many of those experiences and classes and time spent on Louis Kahn Plaza and uh, uh, meeting with my uh, dorm mates and classmates and uh, both in class and outside. Yeah. Which dorm were you? Any, uh, any uh, Initially in D1 yeah. and then uh, later on D15. I know D15 now is uh, probably uh, a, a different dorm, but at that time uh, D1 and D15. And do you take part in any extracurricular activities on campus? I was very active in extracurricular activities. So I was a coordinator of the Student Affairs Council. So I, um, you know, which is the student body that um, is responsible for student affairs at the Institute. I also participated in a lot of sports. So I played um, uh, cricket and uh, hockey and tennis uh, for the Institute and um, uh, was, you know, always very, very involved in act, in both athletic activities. I had I had uh, played a lot of uh, uh, competitive tennis before I went to IIM. And as a, as a kid, my mother was a very good tennis player. So one of the things that we uh, inherited from her was a uh, love and passion for tennis. So, of course, played that. But uh, then, of course, at the Institute, had the opportunity to uh, participate in a number of sports. And then 
in get, be engaged in student government uh, as chair of the as coordinator of the student affairs council. So.